Hi everybody, it's James from Posture Stars. Firstly, apologies for my legs, it's a bit hot here. Secondly, exciting today, I've got a brand new product to show you, and this one is frankly a bit bonkers. So it's classed as a smart chair, I like to call it a sit-stand chair, it's electric, and it's ideal for those of you who, if you already have a sit-stand desk, and you're finding it difficult to remember to move from sitting to standing, maybe the desk does it for you and it's not at a good time, maybe you're just finding it uncomfortable standing for too long or sitting for too long, this kind of solves all of those problems. So let's dive in. So this chair is the Movably Pro. It's the Movably Pro. And it has a range of features which are adjustable to make sure that it's comfortable right for you. We're going to go through all of those. I'm going to talk, talk you through some of the benefits, some of the pros, some of the cons, uh, the pricing around, where you can get it, all that good stuff. So stick with me and I will show you. Firstly, we have two separate parts here to the seat. You'll be able to see if I press this button. Oh, magic! One part goes down and press it again. One part goes up and I'll do that on the other side and I'll do that again. And what you'll notice is that if I'm sat on it, and I try to do that, just to reassure you if you're thinking, well, that's not safe. If I do this and I don't get off the chair, it vibrates for a while, letting me know that it wants to move, and then it doesn't. I'll show you again. No problem at all, but here, if I want to go into this position here, just lift the leg, and then we're in that position. And you can do that on both sides, either manually or you can have it set at a time as well, which is using either uh, a, an app for your phone or a web app for your computer, which is currently in production, but I'll, I'll go into all that in a bit. So I'll put the chair back in its place and we'll go through the features of the chair, shall we? Okay, are you ready for this? Because it's gonna be a whirlwind tour. I'm gonna go through these quickly. Feature number one, that split seat I mentioned. So you can stand in various poses, in standing, in sitting, or in half sit, half stand, where you're in a kind of flamingo-like pose. I'll show you those. The seat height is adjustable, so you can raise that and get the right height for you, depending on you standing on here. I'll tilt this back. You can see it's got an inbuilt there, nice comfy mat, so that if you want to stand barefoot or if you have problems with standing and it's uncomfortable because of your feet then that's really good as well so that's built in and there's a footrest here which is adjustable in terms of depth and in terms of height so you can get that just right for yourself here you'll see i've already set that up just right for myself here we have the adjustable back height so the curve here of the backrest goes into your lumbar part of your back and this has got a nice ratchet system so it goes quite high and quite low. It would have been nice, I'm not sure if it was possible to do so with the chair, to have some form of seat, seat slide, but I'm generally pretty average size, five foot nine, five foot 10. And you'll see that this is a pretty good fit for me here in relation to the chair. And then on the right hand side, we've got a button here. And on the left hand side, we have a similar button, which are used to adjust the chair, like so. Or if you hold this button down for a couple of seconds, it gives you a double shake on your butt, which you'll enjoy, and then it puts it into an auto mode, so it's going to be moving the chair automatically for you during the day, which means that you don't have to worry about it. It's just set and forget, and you can change those intervals in the app as well, which, which is great. So the chair is powered, so it does come with a need for a plug socket, so make sure you've got a plug socket in those areas. And it comes with this real chunk of a power pack here, which you can just see there. That's a real big beefy piece of a, a power pack. It's got a light to show you when it's on. You can turn it off here as well. If, for example, you want to leave the chair in a static position or you're not using it for a period of time. Otherwise, that will get turned off when you turn off the rest of your equipment. I guess really what you want to do is see it in movement and those body positions that you can go through. So let's go through those now. I'm going to walk over to the chair. Here I'm in standing on that anti-fatigue mat, which is nice and comfortable. So position one here, the desk is at the right height for me. We've got about 90 degrees here for the forearm. The, here you'll see my monitor set at a nice height, got a spare monitor over there. So that's a good position to be standing in. You can also enjoy leaning, which is quite cool, particularly if you're on one of those interminable Teams or Zooms calls that seems to go on forever. You can just sit back and, and relax in standing while you're doing that. And then when you're ready, you can come up into, this is the uh, flamingo pose, cunningly entitled, which as you can see, looks a bit like a flamingo. 
Ah, that's a flamingo noise. And you can do that every time, but if you're on a Zoom or a Teams call, people might think you're a bit bonkers. But when am I on my own? I do, I do actually like to go ah, when, it, when it moves, but uh, that's just me, isn't it, folks? So here I'm in this flamingo. If I press this button here, the next side comes up and we're sitting. And you can see here, that's a really nice, comfortable sit and well supported, the seat's padding. I've got that nice lumbar support here in the backrest, which is adjustable. And my feet are resting on the footrest as well, which is a really nice feature. Um, you don't want your legs dangling at any point, so that's really cool. And then I'm gonna pop that one down into this side flamingo and stand like this for a while. So you can see you can go through quite a large range of movements throughout the day rather than just being stood or sat. So you've got leaning perch type movement, you've got standing, you've got flamingo on one side, you've got flamingo on the other side. So you've really got it covered in terms of making sure that you're moving regularly throughout the day. And really that's paramount. So I see a lot of people who get standing desks and they're not moving the desk at all. They've just set it to, to the right height for them and then they'll sit for long periods of time. Or they'll set it to a standing height and they'll stand for long periods of time. And the problem with this is that it's those static positions that cause problems over time. So you really want to be moving regularly. You can move as often as every 10 minutes. I think even, even sooner than that, every three minutes on the app. You can set that up to be quite a rapid change of movement state. But I like to change it around so every 10 minutes or so it cycles from sitting to being on one leg to being on both legs standing bit of a lean and then back onto the other leg and then back round to sitting and cycling around like that keeps you nicely moving throughout the day and I have to say in terms of my personal use I've been using this for one month now it's, it's time to send it on to another company for them to practice and have a have a go on it but I've really enjoyed using it for the one month um, time that I've had it it has left me feeling less tired at the end of the day as a result of all that good movement which is fantastic which i'm sure is exactly what a lot of you are looking for as for availability at the moment it's only available in the states it will be coming to europe and the uk uh, shortly um, but at the moment it's in the states at time of filming time of filming now where are we it is august in 2024 you can tell i don't know what date it is i don't know middle of august um, but I'm sure that will be coming to Europe and, uh, and to the rest of the world quite shortly. But it's, it's a great product. It's made by a really small team of guys. You've got Mark, uh, you've got Andre, and you've got Jose. And they're a small independent company, just like us, Posture Stars. Where are we? There, there, Posture Stars. We're a small independent company. So I really, I really like to promote these kind of products to you so that you can understand how important it is to support those guys. And let's face it, it's a bonkers idea to come up with the idea of, I know guys, what we really need to do, everybody's got a sit-stand desk, why don't we make the chair do the movement as well? That, that really is um, an out there idea and to take that idea from concept to build and prototype and then start selling it is absolutely fantastic. That's what we really like to see here uh, is, uh, is great products, uh, doing great things and helping people be more comfortable at the end of the day, which is our number one priority. So let's have a look at some of the pros and some of the cons. I could, I could memorize this list and sit down or I could do lots of tiny little video bits and do it. But frankly, I can't be bothered guys. So here I am doing what nobody does on YouTube, which is reading from a piece of paper. But I've written down the pros and cons, which is just gonna save me a load of time filming. Hooray! So uh, the first thing is it promotes movement. Yes, fantastic. It gets you moving throughout the day, which is, as I've just explained, really, really keen. It has an adjustable design, secondly. So you've got the nice comfortable seat here, nice padded seat, you've got the anti-fatigue mat, you've got the adjustable footrest, you've got the adjustable back and the adjustable height as well. You can push, obviously you can move the chair nearer and forwards uh, to the desk to get it just right for you. Um, the integrated anti-fatigue mat I've, I've just mentioned, I believe you can get replacements for that should it ever wear away, but in my experience, it's been really firm and sturdy and comfortable to stand on as well. I've been using my shoes because uh, you don't want to see my socks in a review like this, um, but you could do it. You could quite easily stand in your socks or barefoot, or you could use some Vivo barefoot, barefoot shoes, which are all really cool and another rage at the moment. And I'm thinking about trying, but I don't think my poor old feet would be able to cope with them running around the, the paths of Stockport on the concrete. Uh, there is an app that comes with it. So at the moment, it's an, uh, it's a, an iOS app, it's an Apple app. Uh, there is a web app coming as well. I've had a play around with the app. It works really well. So when that's in full release, you're gonna be able to set 
the times of it and, and how frequently and all that sort of stuff and update the firmware should you ever need to do that. Uh, a lot of people have said that they've got great comfort and support from this. You can take my word for it or you can go and watch other videos or you can go to the company's website and, and find all out what the users have said. But take it from me, I found it really comfortable, I found it really en enjoyable to use. If I were, um, see, see I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm very average. I'm an average height, a bit over average age, a bit over average weight, but pretty average. I think you might struggle with this if you found it hard to make the sort of leg movements that we were doing there. Because you don't need to climb up into the chair, but for example, if you shut your PC down or everything gets turned off and you're sat on the chair, you do kind of have to climb off a little bit. Or if one side of it is up here and you've shut everything down and think, oh, it's time to go from here, you'd either have to clamber up a bit or clamber off a bit, which is, I mean, let's face it, it's a first world problem, isn't it? It's a tiny little problem. Uh, but that is something to, to consider. Um, sit stand desk wise, you could use a manual adjusted sit stand desk. You could do what some of my clients do, particularly the kind of 30 something sporty, bikey, CEO type company founders. And they generally, in an alcove like this, they would build their own desk by putting a, a piece of, of wood across at the right height. Uh, and so if you think about it, that's really a great way to save on having to spend on an electric sit stand desk because um, while I've got an electric sit-stand desk here, while I'm using this product, I'm not moving the desk at all. So uh, that is something to bear in mind, that you could use a manual one, or you could use uh, build, build your own. Let's have a look at the cons. Hmm, Pricing-wise, it, it is a bit more expensive than your average chair, so it's, it's, it's not a, really a mass market product. I can't see billions of people buying this, but for the sort of people who would benefit from it, who are people like me, um, I think the price is fair and it will probably come down and I'm sure there will be offers available in the future. And when that's available in the UK, we will be selling them from our posturestars.com website. So visit posturestars.com and, and see if it's available uh, for us to be able to ship to you. And if we do that, obviously, we can have a little video chat as well and I can talk you through it. What a bonus that would be. Complex setup, yeah, I mean, it, it did come in, it came in two very large boxes and uh, they were quite weighty. Uh, so if you were bringing it upstairs, um, if you were particularly weak, you might struggle with it. I guess that's the same with many chairs. Just got put together with some Allen keys. So basically uh, the, the chair there uh, fits into the base, the power fits into the base and you just tighten it up with Allen keys. Hex keys, I think you call them in the US. So uh, that's pretty straightforward. Another con, uh, the learning curve. It did take me kind of a week to get used to it at first. I don't think I'd set it up exactly right for me and I've made some adjustments there and I'm much happier with it now. And um, at, at first when it asks you to move, um, for that first maybe three or four days, you kind of think, oh, oh, I have to do something now. Give it a week and then after that it's just completely in the background and you forget about it completely unless you yourself want to make the flamingo nose. Ah! Um, which is um, which is doable and uh, it's not as easy to move around as an office chair you can't just sort of wheel it around um, so there are some casters on the back of it here at the base you can't quite see them there but you can roll it like that but I think really once you've got it in place you're not going to move it around um, you do need to sit sand desk that's a con um, but you can build your own and uh, one thing I found was if there's, if there's a couple of you wanting to use the desk, so for example, uh, one of my kids was here, wanted to play Minecraft and I'm, I'm here, um, it's not immediately obvious how both of you can work around having one chair. So if there's two of you working from one desk, you would either, you'd want to have a chair each, two chairs, um, or you'd want the other person either to be standing themselves. So. In, in that kind of environment, which let's face it, it's pretty rare where two people are on, on one desk then, uh, that might be a bit difficult. There are the pros and cons. So what's my overall verdict? Well, I really like the chair. I think it's, uh, I think it's really clever. Uh, I, lo I love the way they've built it and I, lo I love the functionality of it and the things that it can do. I think that's great. Not for everybody, um, let, let's face that. Um, there are some requirements like a sit-stand desk, uh, power, uh, not ideal for two people at a desk, all of that sort of stuff. But really it is, it's a, a great product. So it's um, a big posture stars, thumbs up. We we're, we're really uh, like it very much. 
So that's it for today's review. If you enjoyed it, if you find it helpful, please help us. We're a small company. Please subscribe to our channel or like or comment or whatever it is on whichever platform you're on. We do love to hear from you. How did you find it? Is it something that you think is too bonkers that you'd, you'd never get around to using? Or do you think that's something that you can't wait to get your hands on and, and have a play with? Let me know. Like, subscribe. Cheerio. See you next time.